My current role, it's a privilege to have being chief exec of the council. Um, uh, the council plays such an important part in the life of Cornwall um, and to be involved in uh, running the day-to-day -day activities of the council is a, is a real privilege. In 2005, um, I, uh, I started a new relationship with, with, with what is now my wife and um, you know, I changed in the mind's eye of, of, of friends and uh, people that knew me professionally from, you know, um, being, being a mum, uh, living with um, my children's father into, you know, now uh, being in a same sex, in a same sex relationship. And it was really interesting kind of to me around some discrimination that I felt um, uh, through through that through, uh, as, a, as a result of that um, and uh, it was not so much with my gender although of course my sexuality is is linked to that but you know there were some issues um, with the school and um, views that have been expressed around um, foreign exchange trips and needing to um, the school belief that I needed to tell uh, uh, parents of other other children that could be coming and staying with with Megan, my daughter, around my sexuality, and and suddenly I found myself in a place where where my my private life was being discussed by by others, um, and there was some discrimination um, that I had to stand up and challenge, and um, you know I was fortunate insofar as you know, I. I felt personally powerful enough to be able to do that, but it was it was very sobering, kind of suddenly experiencing disc direct discrimination, um, and it's something that I don't forget. Um, and the importance for me of making sure that you know we do seek to try and be an inclusive and um, an inclusive employer. Um, and to stamp out and uh, challenge where we see discrimination happening. I have been immensely lucky in my life and I um, know that the opportunities that I have have come on the back of other people standing up and challenging how, how the system worked, including my own family um, of, of, of strong women. Um, but I did find an example, particularly as I was thinking about um, moving into um, a more kind of council wide leadership role rather than a social care leadership role, which had been what my background was, was that there was some gender stereotyping that went on. At the time, my chief exec asked me to lead on the organisation development work and gave the leadership on some of the place-based stuff to uh, a male colleague of mine. Um, and I knew that if I wanted to make that next move, I needed to change that and to challenge that. And that was difficult and it was some difficult conversations, but I was glad that I did it. As a woman um, growing up in the UK, I think opportunities for my generation were very different from what they were of my, of my grandmother's uh, generation. And that's that's to be celebrated. I suppose over the last few years is that I've become more aware that you can't take these things for granted. And if we just look across at you know, a number of different countries that um, are going through a period of, of greater levels of social conservatism, Hungary, Poland, um, that you know, we have to continue to kind of pay attention uh, to these matters and to be asking questions and um, making sure that we don't become complacent. And, you know, within the context of the UK, there is still more to do. I am optimistic um, and I think that things like International Women's Day to be continuing to have the conversations both locally, nationally, but internationally about the role that women play within our society and what we can do to make sure that people's gender um, does not kind of hold people back feels to me to be really important and why I'm pleased to be a part of this today.